Hello, my soccer universe. New perspective. I think I've never been standing here and you could see <laughs> so much from me, but I thought, yeah, let's try this one. I just moved my laptop 90 degrees around and you have at least a familiar background. Usually I'm sitting somewhere a little bit to the side. But what I want to do, um, I'm not ready with whatever I want to do for Bundesliga and for the uh, league. Uh, so to bridge you over and to bridge the gap and I'm probably this is one thing that I will do for sure a lot now is to look at jerseys and I said yeah let's look at the jersey you know honestly they are all the jerseys that I have even if it's teams that I don't support uh, they in a way I like all, all of them there are some that I'm not super fond of although I'm not sure if I have anyone here right now Oof. Maybe the United jersey or so, but you know, even that one, it grows on me. So yeah, I decided, let's look at a jersey that I really like, although it's from a team that I'm neutral. I think I had some sympathies before the big takeover. Nowadays, um, I don't like what they're doing financially. On the other side, uh, the soccer that they're playing is actually quite nice and exciting. So it's kind of this mixed affair. Talking, of course, of Manchester City, and to be honest, Manchester City had a few nice jerseys, um, especially away jerseys that I really liked. But the one that really hit me, and if you see my Premier League jersey review, I think there's a link up there from last year, you already immediately saw that I really, really like this jersey, it's just gorgeous. Uh, I like dark blue jerseys, <laughs> that's for sure, I can say. And you know, uh, dark blue, but what I really like about it is the colors and the stripes that are in there. I really like that we have this neon stripe, although it didn't make much sense. I know now it's a reference to the kit when they got promoted uh, and the light blue, but uh, it's very classily done. And I even like that it's the same striping on the back side of the jersey. Uh, maybe this one's a little bit too thick, but even that makes sense. This was the template in 2018. Um, I really like this one. Then the new crest, I have to say, uh, I knew Manchester City uh, with the Eagle crest, but then I saw this one, I was kind of, what is that? But then with some history, yeah, this is very close to their original, uh, you know, the historical crest. And I have to say, I like it. It looks a lot more classy in many ways. I can do without the Etihad sponsor, to be honest, but yeah, they have taken over. I actually would prefer without that sleeve sponsor and rather have a Premier League patch here, but that's the way it got sold. There was one jersey when I was looking at it the first time um, that had Laporte here on the back, and I thought, yeah, if it's still there when they sell it off, I will get it. Uh, I know I saw it for the longest time at the end of last season. They were selling this one for around 55 euros, 60 euros or something like that. And I said, nah, it's not quite there. And then uh, when Lusk played, qualified for the Europa League group stage, I was actually all set that I'm going to get tickets. And I knew this will take a hit on my jerseys. It's just maybe the corona crisis at the moment. I don't think that as long as this crisis persists, I'm not going to buy jerseys because I think having cash at the moment is a little bit more important. I will let loose later on, <laughs> let's put it that way, maybe. But I saw it and I think it was selling for 45 and I said, yeah, Lask is qualifying. I really would love to uh, go, to go to games, but we didn't have a babysitter because on Thursdays my mother, who would watch them, usually had her uh, commitments. And so I said, yeah, I need to make myself better. I want to get this jersey. I'm not fond of this team, but I really need to get this jersey. Uh, I also got some other jerseys that you have, uh, that I have not made a video, like this pink Lask jersey. I think I bought three jerseys to make up for that. But yeah. This is my Manchester City jersey. I don't plan to get a light blue one, to be honest, at the moment. Unless it's a really, really nice one. I think the, the anniversary jersey uh, that they had would have been... But I absolutely love it. I love it from the template. I love the colors. I love that the elements that pop are so sublimated. And of course, you know, it's just a little bit... No, not sublimated, but it's very uh, little. They make it even pop, pop more. This neon green, neon yellow. It's more green. And to sweeten the pie, actually, they 
sealed the championship in those ones. Yes, I was more for Liverpool, that one, but, you know, it's a championship winning jersey. They had not, did not wear it in the celebration, but yeah, I really like this one. Uh, this, it's a gorgeous shirt. And when we are there to work, I assure you, because we have many Liverpool fans, I get many, what well, is this team? I really cannot get back. And I said, I know the team. I'm not really supporting the team, but I love this jersey. And this is basically one of those that I really wear because I like the way it looks, despite of what this crest says. Uh, and as I said, I'm rather neutral. I really like Guardiola. I like Guardiola style soccer. So, yeah. Um, also realize I'm wearing Manchester, I'm wearing West Ham United, the team on the bottom of the table at the recording, uh, showing off my team at the top of the table. Anyway, let, let me know what you think about this jersey. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a very good day. Bye.